efficiency demands that global production under a zero, a net zero uh, conscious paradigm must shift to Africa and global south. This also offers us the irresistible opportunity to reverse the climate emergency and make Africa the green factory of the world, transforming the world's largest unemployed population into highly productive constituents of the ILO movement. This is the conversation we shall be having next week in Paris with my sister Motley. During the global stock take, it is the, con it is the discussion that we will be having in Nairobi in the Africa Climate Summit in September, and hopefully it is the discourse we shall finally conclude and underline conclude at COP28 in Dubai in December. To actualize the new paradigm shift in global growth and development, a new development financing architecture is an imperative. It is not tenable, and in fact, I dare say, it is fairly absurd to confront a threat of the magnitude of climate change without a financial mechanism that directs resources on a scale and with the urgency and consistency and speed demanded by this existential